I think there's actually huge misunderstanding about these algorithms. You know, people like Manoush will say, what does hair color have to do with your soulmate? And Manoush is right, it has nothing to do with your soulmate. But we don't look at things like hair color or eye color or height or weight. We look at practical behavioral measurements. We look at who's online. If you go to a bar, the people that you see are the people in the bar with you. One of the most prominent features of the algorithms are that when you go online, you see people who are online with you too. It's the same kind of things that give you the opportunity to see who's responsive, who's open to actually meeting, who actually talks to each other. Those are the people who we promote, the people who you're going to have the best chance of having a good positive interaction with. If you behave poorly, you but get how do you how do you know it's a positive interaction? Because I think there's there, there's a little bit of a sense that well uh, that if both people like the same kind of music, then that's a thing that's going to help them get along. But you know maybe that assumption is wrong. Maybe opposites attract in a lot of ways. How do you account for the possibility of opposites attracting? So what, one way that we account for it is we actually don't filter out all sorts of people just because they disagreed with you on one thing. What we do is we present to you the people who are available, and we try and show you things that you can use to connect. Well, it turns out that you happen to agree that Thundercats was the greatest, you know, greatest thing of all time as a child, right? But maybe two such people should not be allowed to be together. <laughs> 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 We're going to concede all the Thundercats couples. <laughs> Give them to you. They're very romantic. But, you know, we, we aren't making those decisions for you. We're just showing you what you have in common okay. with people. Okay, so you, I want to let Manoush take, take that on. And, and you, of course, are speaking for your company. Um, I had the pleasure the other night of sitting on the couch with a single uh, female relative who was like, you want to see what it's like? I'll show you what it's like. And we got on Bumble. And let me tell you, it was like, oh, look at his face is slight. That's weird the way his ear is. No, gone. Um, oh, look at his a little bit. Re oh, I don't know. His smile's weird. Goodbye. Nobody is looking at whether there's thunder cats or they like interacting or anything like that. In fact, she told me that she had gotten more matches or whatever they call it on Bumble when she had nothing written in her profile. It was based on her looking but, super but cute.